Russell Starr here. Today we are going to be looking at AEW Collision, the criticism regarding their television ratings, and much, much more because Jonathan Coachman, a former WB announcer slash host, made an idiot of himself on Twitter, and then FTR's Dax Howard Wood came in there and just socked him upside the head with reality. So, that being said, sit back, relax, hit that subscribe button for more wrestling content, and let's get into it. So, AEW Collision, they, it premiered on June 17th. It had been talked about for months. The new Saturday night show, two hours in prime time, built around the returning CM Punk. And that, they did. First show pulled in over 800,000 with a um, .33 in the key demo. But then they dropped, as expected, as all wrestling shows, as all television shows do, they dropped from the premiere. They, the June 24th episode went down to 595 and pulled in a .21 rating. Now, last week's rating, as I record this, which was the July 1st, show did 452,000 total viewers with a thir uh, 0.13 key demo rating. Not great, not good. It Look, it's good, it's not great, it's not terrible. We knew it was going to drop. Obviously, drawing 452,000 is not great. The key demo, it is what it is because they're really, look, it was the same key demo that Rampage did on uh, June 30th, and it's around the total viewership that Rampage has done thus far. Basically, Coachman was talking about in response to a fan who's like, Coachman, these fans should have known that the ratings were going to drop. They should have known that this was never going to work and AEW should have never made an attempt. And it's like, Jesus, have you ever tried to build anything in your life, right? Everything that anyone does to build up something is hard. You don't just sit there and be like, well, I'm not going to try because it's hard. No, you got to look at it. You got to think about it. And obviously Tony Khan thought about it and thinks that he can make it work. And Coachman responded to this fan and he said, and it was kind of a weird tweet, so if this sounds odd in terms of like the way he's, he was typing, just FYI on this. Kyle, what I do know, been out the business too long. You don't know AEW fans. You're an idiot, just watch Tony, we'll show you. Let me repeat myself for those except Kyle who clearly listened. Wrestling show, shoes. He said wrestling shoes instead of shows, but hey, it's a typo, whatever. Do not work on Saturdays. Never have, never will. Now you will all can try. That was a tweet, actually. Yes. Wow. That's Harwood responded. Hey, coach, we're just trying to build a brand. It takes time. We understand that. Hopefully you do too. This roster absolutely loves wrestling like an entity loves it. I know you'll pro you probably can't relate to that. Will this Saturday night TV show endeavor work? Who knows? What I do know is we all work our asses off to make it work, and I hope you and people like you give us an opportunity to show professional wrestling is alive. And I know you, I know how Monday nights work, but maybe you will give us more than three weeks to make this work. If not, you're more than welcome to tell me I'm wrong. What I'm not wrong about is wrestling fans love wrestling, and we always work to make them proud. Give us a chance. And I thought he said it very brilliantly. Wasn't a ripping tirade. He didn't insult him necessarily. I thought he handled it it's short and early well, and I agree with him completely. I don't think Collision is going to be the grand success that, um, that Tony Khan thought it would be. I think he should have focused on Dynamite and trying to get those numbers back to around a million. But, hey, when you're given money, you got to do what you got to do. And that's what happened to Tony Khan. So, let me know down in this, the, uh, the comments down below. And I will see y'all in the next video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button for more wrestling content.